In the battle for the boo, LSU walks into Fayetteville. 34 to 10 was the final. The Tigers getting it done. As Kirk Cousins would say, man, walk into your trap, take over your trap. Shout out Kirk O'Chain. So LSU, I think, made a statement in this game. I think we learned a lot about LSU in this game. And when you look at the uh, the postseason aspirations for the Tigers, that loss in Vegas to start the year, while it's never ideal to have a loss on the resume, especially in week one, slowly but surely starting to uh, to fade a little bit. So we'll talk about that right now. Make sure you are subscribed right here to the On3 YouTube channel. College football, nothing but college football year round. LSU Tiger fans want y'all dialed in here. All right, we got a lot to talk about. With your Tigers, going to predict your uh, your game next week with AM on Tuesday's show. So make sure you're locked in here. We appreciate you for that. Also, follow me on the socials, at JD Pakel, Instagram and Twitter. So this was the classic, classic. I mean, you could not draw it up any better. Let down spot for the Tigers. Arkansas off a bye week. LSU, after an emotional win in Baton Rouge, you take down a top 10 Ole Miss team and all the momentum, all the emotion, all the... How do they respond? How do they end up playing in a game like this where, quite frankly, with Arkansas and the ability they have and the quarterback they have in Taylor Green and the explosivity they, they have the potential to have in this offense, how do they respond? Well, I think with them responding and winning the game definitively on the road in the way that they did, we're starting to see this Brian Kelly team do what they have typically done during this time of the year. Start to round into form. A win like this, to me, screams maturity. Screams, we can handle our business one week, reset, and handle business the next weekend. And that sounds sort of simplistic, but y'all, for 18 to 22-year-olds to be able to hit the reset button after the biggest win of your season then go on the road against a talented Arkansas team and to get it done in the way that they did, absolutely massive. Hey, don't look now too, uh, but this LSU defense, the one that everyone dunked on last year, starting to look very LSU-ish, if you will. Because what did we say going into the game? You cannot allow Taylor Green to get to that second play and hurt you with his legs and then create explosive plays downfield. Taylor Green, negative 10 yards rushing on the afternoon. Go ahead and check that box. LSU forced three turnovers. Looking very uh, very LSU-ish. Again, credit Blake Baker for getting this operation running the way that it's running. Credit Whit Weeks, dude. That guy is a baller. <laughs> that guy is an absolute dog. Seeing him tip the pass up to himself and Taylor Green's face, then come down with the pick and then have an all-time selly. Dude's a dude's an absolute savage. And he is, uh, I think, the embodiment of what this LSU defense is. Gritty, aggressive, fast, physical. That's what they are right now. That's dangerous. To be that right now and wearing on, a t- on, on other teams going into the end of October and entering the month of November, like that is that is massive. That is absolutely massive. They answered the physicality of what Arkansas was going to bring to the table. Because, again, letdown spot, like we just said, against Ole Miss with the way they played, it was going to take the pads popping on the road. And they did that. Arkansas had 38 yards rushing, two yards a carry. Check that box. Just a lot of checking boxes this game if you're the LSU Tigers. Now, offensively, man, if you can run the ball like they did in this game, the whole menu is going to be open for you. I mean, it's, it's going to be like uh, a finance bro with the company credit card. Just everything, anything you want, you got it. Caden Durham ran for over 100 yards, five yards of carry, three touchdowns. And while you didn't have like a 50-point explosion, still 34 points, that's going to get it done, I think, in most spots for LSU if this defense plays the way they're capable of playing. Because if you're able to run the ball like they ran the ball, you're not able to give the proper attention and stick with a Kyron Lacey and a uh, C.J. Daniels, and a Mason Taylor, and an Aaron Anderson. Like, it's just, it's, it's not going to happen. And I think a lot of that is just the matchups that these receivers present. You got to give extra attention, at least to Lacey, and live the way that you want to live with the rest of those guys. But if you, if you have to give extra attention, what is that? Less attention to Caden Durham. He's proven now. He can make you pay. So don't look now, man, but LSU, they control everything and anything they want to right now. The loss to USC, boo-hoo. Y'all, they're undefeated in the SEC. Now, you have a massive one. You got to go on the road and play Texas A&M next week. And then, obviously, you have the game at Florida, uh, Alabama before that, in Baton Rouge, which you would hope and praise a night game for you if you're uh, an LSU fan. Got Vanderbilt, got Oklahoma. But, like, y'all, honestly, you played the way you played against Arkansas. Everything is on the table. It's so funny the difference that a few weeks makes. No pun intended. One specific weeks, I suppose, talking about wit weeks. But it's so funny 
the difference that we now view LSU through from what they were week one. Because LSU week one, they lose to USC, and it's like, oh man, Brian Kelly, is he the right guy? And that wasn't something we said on the show, but that was something other folks ran with. The questioning of, you know, can they actually round into form and win the big one? And like, I don't know if that's going to happen this year or not, but y'all, you set yourself up midway through October to have everything you want in front of you in the SEC and the college football playoff alike. Make no mistake too. If LSU, let's just let's just go ahead and say they drop one game along the way. Let's say it's either Bama or let's say it's the game against AM next week. We're not predicting that right now, but I'm just saying those would be the most difficult roster tests. Even if you drop one of those games, LSU, I think, still has more than a good chance to be in the college football playoff. A one-loss record in the SEC at 10-2, and two, with your only other loss being in week one of the college football season by a touchdown, one score, that's it? Like, you're keeping LSU out of the playoff? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I can't wait for next week where they go to College Station. Fired up for that one. But LSU, man, playing their best ball at the right time. What Brian Kelly teams traditionally have done since he's gotten to Baton Rouge. Surprise, surprise. Make sure you're locked in here. Make sure you're subscribed. Get at me on the social channels. At JD Paquel. Twitter, Instagram. Heck, we're on TikTok. Let me know your thoughts on what LSU did did last night in Fayetteville. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Going to keep this party rolling. We will see y'all.